Wow, guys, the Seco episode two, season two, and gotta say, Raku, Raku, just saying, Sugumi, man, oh my god, wow, Sugumi is just, what a woman, what a woman. I, that's all I got say. What a woman. I think she might be my favorite out of uh, all the female characters. Not, you know, I do like all the female characters in the Seko. It's not like I hate that one or no, 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 no. I really do like all the characters. And I can see Raku picking everybody. Of course, my money's on uh, Onodera, even though I don't really want him to end up with her. But Raku Sugumi is looking very, very nice. Even though she's beautiful, she's... You know, she's polite, she's, you know, shy, she's strong, she's everything that I think Raku's looking for, and she's a great cook, what can I say? In this episode, we see basically Sugumi, it's basically Sugumi and Raku, and we see an uninvited kind of guest, or a guest from the past a little bit, and that is Paula. That is hilarious. Paula's funny. Uh, Is it Paula? I think it's Paula. Paula. I believe it's Paula. Yeah, Paula. I'm gonna say it's Paula. If I if I if it's not Paula, I'm sorry, but I think it's Paula. I'm 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 ninety nine point nine percent sure it's Paula. So I'm gonna go with Paula. Survey says we'll know in the comments and the dislikes. <laughs> well, anyway, so just getting back at Paula or whatever, uh, another assassin, you know, uh, from America, and Sugumi uh, worked with her, you know. Basically, Paula looks up to Sugumi, even though she was the number one. She's that, that's her rival, that's her role model, and she's seen what Sugumi has become. She Sugumi just left, you know. Of course, she's the um, watching over uh, Shudoki mistress, whatever you know they call Lady Sama. Uh, so she she wanted to see what what the hell Sugumi was up to, and she's seen that she's kind of losing her step. You know, she's becoming one of the girls. She's laughing she's smiling she's laid back most of the time she's not as stressed but sugumi is still a badass do not mess with her and then we see sugumi uh you see those two fight and then raku tries to stop it he gets her sugumi you know patches off a lot of moments between these two a lot of moments so if you're a big fan of this uh and you want this couple to happen a lot of great moments in this episode especially i absolutely love the conflict that was going on and basically the main goal that was going on. And that was the competition between Paula and Sugumi. First one to kiss Roku, uh, Roku at, in one hour. Either Sugumi, if Paula wins and she kisses him and steals a kiss. Basically Sugumi will have to go back to America. But if Sugumi does, Paula will leave without a word. You won't see her again. So great. I mean it's a great shenanigans, right? Great shenanigans. I gotta say, Sugumi being a cook is awesome. You know, just seeing these two uh, together, Sugumi and R- Roku, it, it really feels it. It feels like a nor- It could be a normal couple. I can I can see it. You can just see it. You see that they have chemistry. You see the designs. They fit. They, they match so well together. At first, I was like, mm, maybe it's just a brother and sister relationship. But if you look at it, no, it really does. The designs and stuff. It really looks like. A couple they really look really great together especially Sugumi is so he she fits her his personality so I'm really rooting for this couple of course there's so many girls there and of course you have uh, Shirugi, Onedera and Raku if you've read the latest chapter of Niseko uh, basically you know where uh, Raku's mindset is on one of the girls so uh but great like i said great apps the comedy in here was so well done there was subtle comedy there was in your face comedy and you know there's comedy you've seen before you know with the shenanigans but it was all well done the animation was beautiful the destruction the fight sequences you know the one-on-one battles uh sugumi killing the pillar knocking down she pretty much went incredible hulk toward the end of this episode the animation was very beautiful i'm really enjoying the animation i'm really enjoying the music and you can't go wrong with some of that piano music but i'm really enjoying the music i'm really enjoying even the high tempo kind of music the little i want to say spy but it's not necessarily spy uh basically the theme that was going on between paula and Tsukumi. i really like that bit of music um 
Roku in this, yeah, it was. It's very funny, you know. He, uh, him, pointed out that basically, I like the conflict between you know the different ideals of you know a kiss is very precious and a kiss or a kiss could be you know it's not that big of a deal. There's two big uh, opinions on that, but you know a kiss, their first, somebody's first kiss is very special. So I love how they played that in there. Um, absolutely love how Sugumi gets so shy and so you know when and I love the fact that she was just getting pissed knowing that you know Raku was about you know get kissed by Paula so it's definitely a it's definitely a conflict with especially with uh, uh, Sugumi with Shudagi being you know the fake boyfriend but also having feelings for Raku as well real genuine feelings so I really like that aspect of so much conflict going around, uh, around. and of course it's funny it was uplifting it was never like you know these episodes are never downers it's really making you it makes you happy it makes you laugh it makes you enjoy it I thought this episode was just the most enjoyable episode I wonder where they were going to go on episode 2 and they went the Sukumi route with just her and I like you know I liked maybe the couple more episodes just focusing on one girl along the way. I like it. I like I like it. And then, you know, get the whole gang back in here where it's focused on all the girls at the same time. No, different kind of stories, plots. But so far, I do like what they're doing in the episode-wise. You know, Shurigi had, uh, Sh- Shitogi had her moment in episode one. Sugumi has her moment in episode two. So I'm assuming somebody else will have their moment in episode three. Probably uh, Onedera. So, great stuff. Really enjoy it. I hope you guys saw it. I'm assuming you guys saw it. Really good. Just overall, I'm having a good time. There's only two episodes in this already. But this episode, by I think, is a little bit... I think I like this episode a little bit more than last episode. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Shudogi, but... Uh, Shudogi? Uh, Shudogi. But I love Sugumi. I mean, oh, she's so... She's just amazing. She's awesome. So thank you guys for listening. Subscribe, like, let me know your thoughts on the episode. Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? I want to hear it. I want to hear you guys' comments below. And like always, thank you guys for supporting. And until next time, guys, I'm out.